while all the other cards in NVIDIA's CMP lineup were just variants of the already existing 30 series cards, the 170HX is a little bit different. In fact, this is a variant of NVIDIA's best performing data center card at the time, the A100. Their form factor was already designed very well for cryptocurrency mining. There's no display outputs at all. There's no HDMI, there's no display port. You don't need that in a data center and you definitely don't need that for cryptocurrency mining. You'll also notice there's no active cooling. There are no fans on the GPU at all. In data centers, these are going to server cases and we definitely have that option as well with cryptocurrency mining. The other thing that you'll notice, which is a curiosity with this card, is that on the back it has 8-pin, but it's not PCIe, it is CPU 8-pin. So NVIDIA included with the purchase of these cards 8-pin CPU to dual 8-pin PCIe adapters. Remember that NVIDIA is looking at this card to make it really efficient for cryptocurrency mining. So what doesn't it need from its A100 counterpart? Well, the first thing it doesn't need is it really doesn't need core performance. So this has less CUDA cores and less tensor cores than its counterpart. What does it need? It needs really fast memory. So inside here is eight gigabytes of HBM2 memory. Now it doesn't need a lot of memory. So you can go from the 40 or 80 gigabytes that were available on the A100s down to just eight. The other thing that it needs is fast memory bandwidth. And the memory bandwidth of this card is still only beat by one consumer level GPU today. The 5090 beats this card that has 1.79 bandwidth and this has 1.49. The other interesting thing about this GPU is the PCIe. It's a PCIe 1.0 by four, not a full speed 16 slot PCIe. And the limit of the power of this card is 250 watts. That's the TDP, which actually some of those other CMP cards were going way above that for even less performance. The other thing I find very interesting about this GPU is its suggested launch price. Take yourself back to that time where these cards are making so much money mining Ethereum and cryptocurrency. The suggested sell price for this card from NVIDIA was $4,299 per card. Nowadays, all these years later, with GPU mining on its decline and Ethereum out of the equation, you can pick up these still very good mining cards for around $250 to $300 a piece. The other thing I've learned is that there are multiple BIOS versions for these GPUs to get better efficiency or performance. But what I've seen in just whispers online is that in order to have access to that, you had to sign an NDA with NVIDIA to get a special tool in order to install those BIOS. That is the CMP170HX, a really interesting GPU during a curious time in both NVIDIA's and cryptocurrency's history.